Sometimes I wonder if we as humans are born into this world with pre-programmed knowledge, kind of like a computer. A computer is like a body with the heart being the processors, a head being the screen, and your appendages being the hard drive and a printer. Then there's the software, pre-programmed stuff. Windows is a big thing, but there's other software that shows us how to connect to the internet and a calendar, an alarm, and our browsers like Google Chrome or Internet Explorer, and a media player and virus protection and some version of Microsoft Office. All is often pre-programmed in the body, in the computer. When you open up a box and put on your laptop on your lap or your desktop under your desk or your smartphone in your hand, it all works. My thought is we as humans are born with a bunch of general knowledge, of, with a bunch of pre-programmed software. For instance, why do my sons know the same classic rock songs that I was attracted to decades before when I was young like them and they weren't classic rock songs yet? I believe we are pre-programmed to do more right than wrong, to be good versus bad, to be happy, to be sad too. All this knowledge is pre-programmed in our body when we were born or shortly thereafter. Like things like classic rock songs, there are also different sayings or truisms that we just know. Take this one. No man is an island. I looked it up online and it's attributed to an English metaphysical poet and cleric of the Church of England named John Donne. It was written as part of a larger prose in 1623 as Donne was recovering from a serious illness. Those five words, no man is an island. I would be willing to bet are known by virtually everyone who is watching this video. I am also willing to bet nearly everyone did not know that John Donne is attributed to those words. So what does it mean? Well, to me it means lean on me. Lean on me when you're not strong and I'll be your friend and I'll help you carry on. Ah, those classic songs that seem to be pre-programmed into all of us, right? You can humor me. So what does no man is an island or lean on me have to do with trading? Leaning on something is one of the classic truisms in trading that you have to program in your trading DNA. If you are not thinking lean on me when you trade, you are on an island. And we all know that no man is an island. When I get up in the morning and turn on my computer and load up my charts, the first thing that comes to my mind when looking at the chart is one, where are we going to lean? And two, where are most of my friends going to be hanging out today? Leaning comes against a technical level above and below the current price. My friends, where they're going to hang out refers to the market. When I write a post on Forex Live or even on Twitter, I will put the market in quotations to signify it is a collection of everyone around the world who trades a particular currency pair or stock indice or commodity or digital currency. Most of my friends or the market hang out at great places where risk is low and the potential exists for more reward. I should say most of my friends who make money do that. Paralleling to our lives, we often go to restaurants that have good customer reviews, that are clean, that have a crowd, that have a buzz, and we'll even wait to be seated because we know we are likely to be rewarded with good food and good service. Now, we don't often go to restaurants that do not have good reviews or don't have a buzz, that, is, that are dirty and unfriendly because we stand the risk of not being rewarded with good food and service as well. In trading, I want to lean against great technical levels because that is where the crowds, where all my friends are gathering, where there will be a buzz that will literally cause the price to react. If I know the price will react here, that is good for me as a trader. Why? Because I get instant feedback. If it is positive feedback, that gives me confidence. It makes me feel happy because I am with my friends. I am with the market. The rewards can be great. If it is negative feedback from the price reaction, it tells me one thing. Get out. Something is just not right with my view. 
Maybe my friends in the market are not my kind of people. I want to hang out with my mellow, bullish country music friends. But the raucous, bearish rock and roll friends are overpowering us. Time to leave without much loss. There is no reward, but there is also not much of a loss. Look at this hourly chart of the euro versus US dollar. I wake up on this day and I see the price modestly rising and testing this trend line. I consider a trend line a level that my trading friends will lean against. Why? It gives a bullish above and bearish below bias. So I am bearish and the trend is lower, right? So I sell. If there is a crowd of sellers, the price should go down. If there is not a crowd of sellers, I would put my stop up here near these swing levels and resign myself to the idea that the bias has shifted back higher. I am wrong. Maybe I even shift my view around with the crowd, with the new crowd. So the price goes down and I feel good. There is another test here and the crowds enter again and lean and it keeps the bearish bias. Traders that lean here and here and here are not doing anything but making a judgment as to where the crowds are going to be and hoping they indeed show up in the direction of the trade. Honestly, you don't even need a fundamental reason, although the story is likely bearish for the pair. The thing about trading is friendships don't last forever. There will come a time when your country music friends, i.e. the bears, get swapped out for the rock and roll friends, i.e. the bulls. When is enough enough? The answer to that is no one really knows where the low might be, but after this trend move, sticking a toe in the water from the buy side against the lower trend line here is an option. Again, you are leaning but hoping for a different tune to be played. So I might wake up, look at the chart and say, the lower trend line was sniffed last night but not reached. The price is short of this topside trend line, but if that is broken to the upside, we should see sellers turn to buyers, right? If I am even more aggressive, I may even trade in this area and lead against the prior day low. They are a little more wild trades because you are getting in against a trend, are looking to pick a bottom, anticipating a change in the market tone in the market bias. If it gets above this trend line, can you envision more rock and rollers taking control over the country bumpkins? I can. Leaners anticipate crowds and shifts in the crowd. Let's focus on another tool, the 100 hour moving average. That's a blue line in the chart. As the market bottoms here after the fake break and run higher, the price gets above the 100 hour moving average right here. That is a shift in the bias. So when the price comes back here and tests the moving average, it is an opportunity to buy in anticipation of a run higher. Risk is limited. You want to see a crowd develop. The price goes higher. It tests the levels here and here too, bouncing on each occasion. Here the market shifts back to the downside. If you bought, you would be stopped out. It happens. Sometimes the restaurant that we go to seems great, but all the patrons start getting sick and you get a quick reversal of the crowds. That can also be a clue to get back on the bullish horse in this trading example. Even in choppy markets here, note how the market reacts to the 100 hour moving average and trend line. Traders lean on their friends in the hopes they show up. That is all we can do. No man is an island. We need to lean on our friends in the market. Those friends gather at levels where the risk is limited. There should be a reaction at those levels that tell you the tone of the crowd. Are they more bullish or are they more bearish? That feedback is great news for you and your trading. So if you have the mindset that you want to go on your own and blaze your own trail, or if you don't look to lean on your friends and technical levels, change that mindset today. You will automatically be a better trader because no man is an island. If you like this video, just click on the thumbs up. It is important to me and apparently to YouTube as well. If you don't like it, click the thumbs down. It is your vote. Exercise that right to vote. Also, put a comment in. Great stuff, loved it, or something more or less. I'm not going to spam you, but your feedback is valuable. 
My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading and the words of another classic song programmed in our minds. You can get by with a little help from your friends.